Ahobilam is one of the important shrines where Lord Vishnu is believed to have incarnated as Narasimha. As per Puranas, all the nine Narasimha idols in this Kshetram are believed to have been installed by gods. Of these nine, three of them are located in Lower Ahobilam while the remaining six are located in Upper Ahobilam. APSRTC buses ply between Lower Ahobilam and Upper Ahobilam from 6 am to 6 pm. Private autos also ply between Lower Ahobilam and Upper Ahobilam. The trip can be divided into two days, one day to cover Upper Ahobilam and the second day to cover Lower Ahobilam. This is the place where your buses or your autos drop. You have ample amount of parking space if you are coming in your personal vehicles. This Narasimha Swami is in Padmasana under a Karanji tree and hence the name Karanja Narasimha. This shrine is located on the road from Lower Ahobilam to Upper Ahobilam. The shrine is approximately 1 km before the Ahobilam main temple. Swami is believed to have given darshan to Gobila Maharshi. He has also given darshan to Sri Anjanaya Swami here. When Anjanaya Swami declined to see any avatar other than that of Sri Rama, Narasimha Swami appeared with four hands and a bow in one of his hands and blessed Anjanaya. Now you can head towards Upper Ahobilam, which is approximately one kilometer from this temple. You can either walk or avail a free bus service. This is the entrance of Upper Ahobilam. You need to walk a short distance from here to reach the main temple. Generally, the main temple is crowded during the mornings. So we are avoiding this temple at this point and we will be covering this back during our return during the second half of the day. From here, it is very difficult to reach all the other shrines. From the Brahmana Annadana Satram, Doli facilities are available. Taking bamboo sticks for support from shops nearby the temple, one can safely visit the other shrines. The bamboo sticks cost you 5 rupees per stick. We started the trek from this point. From this shrine, Malala Narasimha Swami temple is about half a kilometer and Prahalada Badi is half a kilometer. To reach these two places, one has to go by walk and climb steep steps. But we are not covering this at this point of time because of the crowd. We will be covering these back on our return. For now, we are heading towards Jwala Narasimha Swami temple which is about 3 kilometers and this journey includes climbing 500 steps. One has to go on foot, climb over rocks holding branches of trees at some places. It will be a good experience for trekkers. While we trek, we can see the Ugrastambham. This is the spot where Narasimha Swami is believed to have emerged from the pillar. It is approximately 2 kilometers uphill from Jwala Narasimha Swami Shrine. Once we visit the Jwala Narasimha Swami Shrine, we will head towards this peak. This was the second temple which we visited, Sri Jwala Narasimha Swami. To reach this place, you need approximately 2 hours from the main temple. This is the place where Hirina Kashipu was killed. The Swami is seen with eight hands, two of them tearing apart Hiranya Kashipu and two of them holding his head and legs. Two more of them are seen holding the intestine of Hiranya Kashipu in the form of a garland around his neck. The other two hands hold Shanka and Chakra. Swami is believed to have cleansed his hands in a nearby water hole called Raktakunda. It is a miracle to see that the water when in the hole appears red, while when collected in the hands are very clear. We started our journey towards Ugrastambam. From Jwala Narasimha Swami temple, the Ugrastambam is about 2 kilometers 
which takes almost three hours up and down. One can see the Garudadri and Vedadri hills from here. One can enjoy beautiful views once you reach the hilltop. The last 10 minutes of this trek is very dangerous so one has to be very careful. This is the spot where Narasimha Swami is believed to have emerged from the pillar. It is called Achalachaya Parvata since its shadow does not fall anywhere. This area is believed to have been a part of kingdom of Hiranyakashipu. It is believed that a person attains salvation if he or she makes three pradakshinams around a pillar at this point. We started our return journey towards Sri Malala Narasimha Swami. This temple is about one kilometer from Avavila Narasimha Temple, which is the main temple. The deity of Lord Narasimha here is in peaceful form since Lakshmi Devi is also present. Ma means Mother Lakshmi and Lola means Beloved. The Supreme Lord Narasimha is the Beloved of Mother Lakshmi and hence is glorified as Malola Narasimha. This place is also known as Markonda Lakshmi Kshetra. The Utsava Murti of Sri Malola Narasimha travels with the GR of Ahobila Mat. You must be wondering why among the nine deities this deity travels with the jeer. This is due to the following. There was a young devotee named Srinivasa Acharya at Melkote. One day, Lord Lakshmi Narasimha appeared in his dream and ordered him to come to Ahobilam, take sannyasa, and carry on his future mission from Ahobilam. Young Srinivasa Acharya could not believe his dream and rushed to his guru, Sri Katika Satam Ammal, who was also known as Varada Vishnuva Acharya and sought his instructions. He immediately told Srinivasa Acharya to follow the order of Lord without any delay. Blessed by his Guru, Srinivasa Acharya rushed to Avobilam. There he was received by Mukundaraya, a local chieftain, who also had an order from the Lord to receive Srinivasa Acharya at Avobilam. Lord Narasimha appeared before Srinivasa Acharya in the form of a saint and initiated him into the Sannyasa Ashrama and also formed the Ahobilam Mat. The Lord awarded him the name Satakopa Jir. He instructed him to go door to door to preach the message of Vaishnavism and take along with him the Utsav Murti of the Lord. The Lord also wanted him to be the spiritual master of the disciples. Sri Satakopa Jir was confused as to which Utsav Murti he has to carry with him. The Lord has instructed him to take Utsav Murti but had not told which Utsav Murti. He started meditating on the Lord requesting him to choose the Utsav Murti. Immediately, the Utsav Murti of Sri Malola Narasimha came from the temple flying to his hands. The Utsav Murti of Sri Malola Narasimha is adorned with a paduka indicating that the Lord is ready to proceed on a tour. Since then, the Utsav Murti of Sri Malola Narasimha has been travelling with the jeers of Ahobilam Mat. Post this, we headed towards Sri Varaha Narasimha Swami. When Somakasura stole Bhudevi and Vedas from Vedadri Parvata, Sriman Narayana took the form of Varaha and went into the Patala Loka and killed him. He brought back Bhudevi and hence this is called a Varaha Kshetra. This temple is half a kilometer from Ugra Narasimha Temple. By the side of this temple, the Bhavanasini river flows. This river flows from Jwala Narasimha temple. The river water is pure and sweet. Since the water flows over many herbs, it is believed to have medicinal properties. To cool down Sri Ugra Narasimha Swami, the Akasha Ganga is believed to be flowing as the Antarvahini of Bhavanasini river. After this, we made our way towards the main temple. Sri Ahobila Narasimha Swami. Before visiting this temple, we had our lunch. This temple is closed between 1 pm to 2 pm. There are a couple of free Anadana Kshetrams around the temple. You can have your lunch there and then visit this temple. There are two kinds of darshans for this temple one is free darshan and another is special darshan. 
स्पेशल दर्शन कॉस्ट यू फिफ्टी रुपीज सो वी प्रिफर्ड फ्री दर्शन एज द क्राउड वॉज लेस ड्यूरिंग द सेकेंड हाफ ऑफ द डे इवन आफ्टर स्लेइंग हिरण्य कशपू वेन स्वामीज एंगर डिड नॉट सबसाइड प्रहलाद रिक्वेस्टेड स्वामी टू बिकम काम लॉर्ड नरसिंह स्वामी इन दिस टेम्पल इज अ स्वयंभू मूर्ति इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ सालग्राम द लॉर्ड इज अफेक्शनेटली कॉल्ड अहोबिला नरसिंह उग्र नरसिंह एंड ओबलेशु द स्वामी इज इन वीरासना होल्डिंग इरिण कशपु ऑन हिस्स थाइज विद हिस्स टू हैंड्स वी कैन सी अ शिवलिंगम श्री सुदर्शन चक्र एंड गॉड श्री चंचुलक्ष्मी ऑल्सो अलॉन्ग साइड द मेन एंट्रेंस इज ऑन द नॉर्थन साइड एंड हेन्स इट इज बिलीव दैट द डिवोट इज विल गेट वाईकुंठ दर्शन दिस कंक्लूड्स आर जर्नी फॉर डे वन डे टू वी स्टार्टेड आर जर्नी टूवर्ड्स पावर नरसिंह फ्रॉम लोअर अहोबिलम वन कैन रीच दिस टेम्पल बाय टेकिंग जीप्स फॉर रेंटल एंड कवरिंग अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ ट्वेंटी किलोमीटर्स द चार्ज एंड एंट्री फी ऑफ फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज एंड द जीप्स रेंटल वुड कॉस्ट थ्री थाउजेंड दिस थ्री थाउजेंड इज इंक्लूसिव टू कवर बोथ पावना नरसिंह एंड बारगवा नरसिंह कार्स आर नॉट अलाउड हियर सो जीप्स आर द ओनली ऑप्शन इट टेक्स अप टू थ्री आवर्स अप एंड डाउन टू पावना नरसिंह टेम्पल The check post closes around 12 p.m. and all the jeeps which have started before that need to return before 3 p.m. Post that the forest is open for wildlife. This temple is on the banks of the river Pavana and hence the lord is known as Pavana Narasimha. This is the most peaceful form of the lord amongst the nine Narasimha temples. He is also known as Pamulati Narasimha Swami. The Lord here liberates devotees from all the sins of past lives and the present lives which might have been committed knowingly or unknowingly. Sage Bharadwaja himself got rid of the great sin of Brahma Hatya at this place. Post this we headed towards Sri Bhargava Narasimha. From Lower Ahobilam bus stop this temple is at a distance of 3 kilometers. One has to walk a small distance. was that they need to take 130 steps to reach the temple here lord parashurama who is also known as bhargava performed pens to please lord narasimha lord parashurama wanted to have darshan of the lord right at the moment when he tore apart the chest of hiranyakashipu pleased by the pens of parashurama lord narasimha gave him the desired darshan when the lord was giving darshan hiranyakashipu who was lying on the lap of the lord look towards parashurama parashurama then requested narasimha dev to manifest himself in that form and from then on the lord is being worshiped here and is known as sri bhargava narasimha swami this is one of the most ferocious forms of lord narasimha in ahobilam this temple is located on the banks of akshaya tirtha which is considered on par sacred pushkara tirtha parashurama would bathe in this kunda and use this water for the worship of lord bhargava narasimha Sage Vashishta and other sages had performed pens here. One can also have darshan of Prahlada at the lotus feet of the Lord. The remaining two temples are located in Lower Ahobilam. You can finish your lunch in Lower Ahobilam. There are a couple of free Annadana Kshetrams. Then rent an auto or take your own car towards these two temples. This temple is two kilometers in the south from Lower Ahobilam by road. The deity of the Lord is very unique here as he has got a very beautiful white smile on his face. Since the Lord is worshipped under a peepal tree surrounded by the thorny bushes he is famous as Chatravata Narasimha the left hand of the Lord is in the Tala Mudra this Tala Mudra is not seen in any other form of the Lord in any other place once two gandharvas named Aha and Huhu came here from the Miru mountain and entertained the Lord with the sweetness of their music the Lord blessed them that they would attain fame as great singers Lord Indra and other demigods worshiped the Lord here and requested him to kill the demon king. This temple is also known as Devata Aradhana Kshetra. This temple is the last in the list. This temple is half a kilometer from Chatravata Narasimha Swami temple. After killing Hiranyakashipu, Lord Narasimha Deva here taught Prahlada few yogic postures to practice. This form of the Lord is seated in a Padmasana with yoga patta around his legs. 
Once Lord Brahma visited this place when he was agitated and he returned after attaining peace by practicing devotion unto Lord Narasimha. The deity of the Lord was being worshipped in a deep tunnel and for the sake of ease in his worship, he was brought out from the tunnel and installed here. Thank you. If you like this video, please share this to your friends and family.